4B. Speaking. Read the blurbs from five different novels. A blurb is a short description of a book. Novel is a long written story. It has to be written to be called a novel. And talk about what you would and wouldn't like about each of them. Then decide which two books you would definitely, surely be interested in reading, you would really like to read, and why. Use these words, fascinating, fascinating, very interesting, exciting, page-turner, a book that is a page-turner, that means it is very exciting, it's very interesting, original, it's completely new and unlike anything else, it's original. Unoriginal, it's a lot similar to other things. Gripping, when a book is gripping, you feel that you don't want to put it down. You want to continue reading all the time until you finish. Dull, boring, dull. Use these phrases. I would prefer, I would like to read this novel because of this. I don't think I'd like this book as I'm not really into. I don't like this. I think would be fascinating to read because I would definitely read this because of this. Now let's read the first blurb, the first description. The Jungle Book. A jungle is a thick tropical forest. The book is written by Rudyard Kipling. That's the name of the writer, the author. In this book, the author, author, writer, takes us on a journey, a very long trip, through a collection, a group of stories. The reader follows Mowgli. Mowgli is the name of the hero, the protagonist, the main character in the story, who was raised, who grew up in the jungle. Through his adventures, as the book progresses, as the story of Mowgli continues, Mowgli grows up, gets older, and learns how to survive, how to stay alive in the world. Now, what do you think of this book? Personally, I would definitely want to read it, because all other books by Kipling are gripping. Very interesting and informative. Informative, they have a lot of information. And sometimes I can't put them down. The second description. The mysterious island. Mysterious? It is strange and we know very little about it. Written by Jules Verne. I believe this name is French. He is a French writer. It's not English and it is pronounced as Jules Verne. It's an adventure. A four-year adventure begins when five men escape, run away, from the American Civil War. Civil War means Americans are fighting themselves. In a balloon. This is the balloon. They find themselves on an unmapped island. Unmapped? You can't find it on a map. It's an isolated island. Somewhere in the Pacific Ocean, Pacific Ocean, the largest ocean in the world, and start a new life there. Numerous dangers, a lot of dangers are at hand. They are at hand, they will happen shortly. The wild nature of the island. If an island has a wild nature, it's not suitable for people to live on. Why? This island has extreme weather conditions, heavy rains, blizzards, snowstorms. The weather is not easy on humans. And even pirates. Pirates are people who sail on the sea and they attack others. And an active volcano. A volcano that can erupt and shoots lava from its top. Will the men survive this challenge? Can anyone help them get home again? Read this classic story of courage, bravery, and companionship. Companion 
is someone you spend a lot of time with. So because they were alone on the island, they became companions because they spent all the time together and hope and join the heroes on their adventures. Jules Verne is very famous for his adventure stories, which often involve include an element of mystery. Element, part of mystery, something not easy to understand. I am sure this book will be exciting, so I would prefer to read it. Moby Dick by Herman Melville when Captain Ahab loses his leg to a white whale, this sea animal is a white whale. Named Moby Dick, the name of the whale is Moby Dick. He devises a plan, he comes up with a plan, with a strategy to destroy the animal, to kill the animal, at any cost, no matter what he needed to do, he wanted that animal dead. But Ahab's quest for justice ends in tragedy. A quest is a long search for something. He wanted justice. He wanted to do what is fair. The whale made him lose his leg. So he wanted to kill that whale. He thought it was justice. But it didn't happen. The ending was tragic. It was sad. Personally, I don't like the plot, I don't think I'd like to read this novel as I don't find the plot intriguing. The plot, the events, what the story is about, I think it's silly. Someone who wants revenge from a whale, I don't find it intriguing, it's not interesting. Next, the shadow of the wind. Shadow is the black shape that someone makes when he or she is between a light and between a surface. Written by Carlo Rithafon. Rithafon. This man is Spanish. He lives in Barcelona. The book is mystery and thriller. A thriller is a book about crime or murder. Set in Barcelona, the events that took place happened in Barcelona. This is the story of a young boy called Daniel Simber, Spanish name, who is taken to the cemetery of forgotten books. A cemetery is a place where dead people are buried after they die and allowed to choose a book to keep. Daniel starts a search to find out more, to learn more about the mysterious writer of the novel he has chosen and why his books were destroyed over the years. As Daniel grows older, his interest in the author, in the writer, leads to cause him to gain enemies. When you gain enemies, you start having people who wish you harm. And he soon realizes, he soon becomes aware that in trying to save the author's work, protecting the author's work, Daniel is saving himself. I think that the novel is perfect for those who love mystery. Judging from the blurb, based on what we read in the blurb, the plot, the events that happened in the story, sounds really intriguing, and I think it would be fascinating to read. The Story of My Life by Helen Keller This book is an autobiography. Do you know what that means, autobiography? That means the writer, Helen, wrote about the story of her life. So it's a true story about her life. Biography is when someone writes about someone else. Autobiography is when someone writes about his own or her own life. The book tells the story of a little girl who lost both her hearing and sight the ability to see at a very young age that's the author herself helen with the help of her teacher ann sullivan that's the name of the teacher helen learned to communicate to exchange information with the outside world what do you think of this book the writer lost the ability to see 
and here at a very young age and then she continued her life i find this book the most interesting of all the five the story of helen keller is something that i would love to read because it sounds like a very emotional story it has a very strong feelings i think she must have been a very extraordinary very unusual extraordinary person so i would like to learn more about her now we have to choose only two of these very interesting books now i didn't like this very much and i liked these four but i still have to choose only two i would choose the shadow of the wind and the story of my life because the plot the events the things that happened in these novels sound original unlike anything else and far from being dull they don't sound boring thank you for watching this video if you like it please share it with friends i will catch you in the next one inshallah goodbye